Hey guys, it's Sam and this is Top 5 Wednesday. If you're new to Top 5 Wednesday, I will leave a link to the Goodreads group down below for topics and such. This week's topic is books to give blank as gifts. So this was kind of like a build your own topic in my opinion. So I thought of this as like, it's a kind of a, a book recommendations kind of Christmas list idea gift idea thing for a bunch of different prompts. So basically people could say books for parents or books for dog lovers or books for insert favorite character or whatever. I decided to have a little bit of audience participation and I asked on Twitter for people to give me really obscure things to recommend books in relation to and there's so many good ones. There were so many good ones, but I decided to pick eight actually instead of five. I couldn't even narrow it down to five and kind of go from there. So let's see what people came up with, shall we? Thank you to all of you who participated in this. If you want to participate more in my content, because I tend to ask like polls and stuff on Twitter, follow me. It's it's linked down below, but it's Thoughts on Tomes, at Thoughts on Tomes on Twitter. So check it out if you're interested. So the first recommendation is a book for a friend or loved one who sings and dances in the car at a red light. And I'll kind of give you my thoughts, you know, on, on what I was thinking when I was thinking of these recommendations. So for this, I'm picturing a person who likes to have fun, who likes to be spontaneous, and is just down for a good time in a book that they're gonna read. Don't want anything too serious, but want something fun, kind of creative with a twist. So for that, I'm recommending Temeraire, or the first book in His Majesty's Dragon by Naomi Novik. This I've talked about before, but not in a while, so you might not be familiar. This is the Napoleonic War with dragons in it. So it's kind of like a historical fantasy with dragons, but it's really fun. The dragon can like talk and they, they, they like, communicate and stuff and they're very bonded and they're kind of like cat dogs. And it's just very adorable, very cute. So I think a friend that likes to have a good time would enjoy this book. The second recommendation is a book for a friend or loved one whose favorite soundtrack is the Lord of the Rings soundtrack. Obviously I'm not gonna go with the obvious, which is like the Lord of the Rings, but I'm thinking, Again, I don't know why I'm inhaling like this. Maybe because I have a fresh balsam candle from Bath and Body Works burning and I'm feeling more in the Christmas spirit just by having it burning. It's wonderful. But I love the Lord of the Rings soundtrack. It's so majestic and so wonderful. But again, it's Lord of the Rings and just by association, I'm thinking like a solid epic fantasy. And for that, I'm thinking The Name of the Wind by Patrick Rothfuss, but also like Brandon Sanderson books. I mean, I could just, I could just grab that, like these, but like, Mistborn doesn't feel Lord of the Ringsy, like the Lord of the Rings soundtrack to me. This does. That kind of like sweeping epicness. That feels like this. Third recommendation is a book for someone who has an excessive amount of scarves. Again, as soon as I heard scarves, I thought of a particular book. Because really, this is a book that I'm like, I could recommend this for anybody. Any recommendation you give me, it could be this book. What book am I talking about? The Night Circus by Aaron Morgenstern. But specifically because in this book, the fans of the Night Circus wear red, but typically red scarves, like a red, a red piece, but it's, it's usually a scarf. I believe it's like almost always a scarf. So if you're someone who loves scarves, you're going to love seeing scarves as a piece of a community within a book which is also a fabulous book that everyone should read. A book for a friend or loved one who is out of band-aids. But not only am I thinking of a certain type of book in this case, I'm kind of thinking of format as well for your friend, because if your friend is out of band-aids, you probably shouldn't give them a physical book, because what if they get a paper cut and they're out of band-aids? It's not gonna work. So maybe I recommend an ebook or an audiobook in this case, but the ebook or audiobook that I would recommend would be The Lunar Chronicles by Marissa Meyer, because these aren't going to necessarily hurt people. I think they can be very stressful, but overall, they're, they follow a certain pattern because they're a fairy tale retelling. There's nothing too harmful to the body or soul that take place in these, in my personal opinion. So I think these are safe. These are not books that are going to destroy people, make them like gnash their teeth. You know, like the people who don't have band-aids will be safe with these books. These are a safe bet. This is probably my favorite one. Book for a friend or loved one who doesn't like cilantro. Cilantro has another name in the UK. Why am I forgetting what it is? Is it coriander? I forget, there's another name for it, just so my friends that aren't in America know. But I am, first off, deeply offended by this, this prompt because I really enjoy cilantro, but I know that actually if people don't like cilantro, there's a genetic component to it. There's a certain like gene that makes cilantro taste like 
garbage to certain people and tastes wonderful to others. But in my opinion, cilantro is a wonderful herb that adds so much to so many things. I used to put it a lot in burritos. I actually have like a giant container of it. It's a wonderful spice and I am the offended. So that is going to morph my recommendation a bit. Although I'm recommending a book I still really like. But I think this is for someone who needs entertainment because they're a boring person. But they also need something that's not, you know, not too spicy. Not, not, too, not too much. Just enough, you know? Something, something a little bit safe. Just, just you know, nothing, nothing too much. And for this, I'm recommending The Themis Files by Sylvain Nouvelle. And I really like the audiobooks for this, because again, it's like a, it's like a movie production. They have a full cast. And there's something about these, I really like these books, but I forget about them. <laughs> and they were like nothing, they're four stars and really enjoyable. And I want to finish a series. I don't, did I read the last book? I don't think that I have. But again, there's nothing like groundbreaking about them. Just like there's nothing groundbreaking about people that don't like cilantro. No, I'm not that offended by this. I really am not. But cilantro is such a good spice. My uncle doesn't like cilantro either. And I'm always like, how dare. Book for a friend or loved one who loves the sound of rain. And this one's also a lovely prompt. I had to recommend The Raven Boys for this one because The Raven Boys is so atmospheric and I honestly feel like the background of all of The Raven Boys is the sound of rain. And they spend a lot of time in nature and they're very connected to nature and there's a lot of like nature magic and there's a whole place, caves water, where I feel like there's like a lot of rain sounds. So I feel like someone who enjoys that sound also probably enjoys the way that it looks outside when it's raining. You know how when it's raining, especially if it's in sort of the evening, everything looks really green and lush and beautiful. And there's like, it's just a really good contrast and everything. That's how I feel like, that's like the atmosphere of the Raven Boys. Book for a loved one who believes in the power of dream catchers. Now this one I took kind of literally because I really liked it and I initially thought of this book immediately, but it could take it a lot of different ways because it's also just a beautiful prompt. But for this, I'd recommend Trail of Lightning by Rebecca Roanhorse. This is the first book in an urban fantasy series that is about Navajo folklore and mythology and gods and such. So if someone really loves that kind of mythology, they're going to love this book. And lastly, a book for a friend or loved one who's having a bit of a quarter life crisis. So, you know, late 20s and kind of having a bit of a, a moment. And this one stuck out to me because there's a book that when I read it, I immediately thought this is the book that would be really good for this prompt. And that is Landline by Rainbow Rowell, because in this book, I believe the main character is around that age, maybe early 30s, but she's kind of having a bit of a crisis. So it might be a little close to home for a friend or loved one who's kind of going through that, but at the same time, I feel like it's a book that somebody would appreciate that's kind of going through something like that. You know, she's kind of struggling with relationships and family and her career and kind of where she wants everything to go and is getting to use kind of a magical phone, because it's almost like a magical realism story, it's getting to use a magical phone to call back to a previous time period. And I feel like that's kind of a good premise for somebody who's going through some kind of crisis like that. That was a really fun, not quite top five Wednesday, kind of on a gift theme. So comment below and let me know a funny prompt like this and a recommendation that you would give based on the funny prompt. I want to read all of them and they're gonna be really fun. So thank you all for watching and I'll see all of you guys soon. Bye!